Hey guys, Mr. Chronicle here bringing you a video about the Bison Super. Um, a lot of times people ask me like how to demo this product, right? There isn't really anything online about it. It's really just like you see a ton of Gripzilla stuff. So I did bring the Gripzilla Tornado in comparison. So one exercise people do is the, the you know, basic hand bike, right? You can see, if you can demo, you can see, you see this all the time online, right? So with the Bison Super, see like so, you could do the same thing. You could do a bike. You can also, you know, sort of straighten it out, do this. Of course, again, do this, you know, like a, like a more range of motion bike, right? I tend to fatigue more with the Bison. Um, the Gripzilla, it's more like doing it consistently. Another one you see is what you call like almost what, churning the butter sort of deal, churning the butter. You see that online a lot, churning the butter, you see these exercises. With the Bison Super, let's say uh, you could do that, churn the butter, right? Similarly, churn the butter. You can also do simply just move this like this and do even a more range of motion type of exercises. The range of motions, tend to be a little bit broader with this. As you can tell by, if you look at this, the length of this product here and the length of the Gripzilla here. Notice a huge difference between the two of them. Like this one is definitely twice as long. Um, so, turning the butter again, like so. If you want to take a look, turning the butter. Um, another one is the, now the resistance is just set low on these. So like another one you see is like so, like this, doing this. This could be a little more problematic maybe if you, you know, same thing you can do this. See that you can also do this, you know, see the greater range of motion, you can just do this if you want, right? You can set the things differently, same thing, and just do this if you want. It's do something like this and like this. You know, it's just kind of like almost like a worm. It's wiggly. So the one thing that is kind of unique to this, though, is you can just kind of go free for all because you have this. You could do this. You could do this, you know, because look at the the range of motion you can get. I know it's out of focus, but you can see the range of motion you can do. Right. You could do something like this and do this forward. Right. I know it's not the best demo in the world, but here, see. Also light resistance, I'm not trying to, you know, I will do a resistance test later on, but see here, simple exercise. Same thing, you can go up above the shoulder, same thing, do this and just go up above the shoulder, down low. If you want, I don't have my, you want to do the leg. If I can demo it, it's the same thing, you can do something with the leg, like so. See the leg, if you can see that in the angle here, sorry I'm on the phone. But you could just get, you know, do the same thing with the leg as you do with the bison, you know. Same thing with the Gripzilla, you could do it on the leg. You know, um, there's a couple other ones, like with the bison. All right, so perfect example is with the Gripzilla Tornado, you see a lot of people doing this. So you, for example, with the resistance tests like this, right, you can do this. Go all the way up. Notice I'm not, like fidgeting with it. This is like more resistance. You could take a look and how tight you can get it, right? So you see a lot of guys doing this, right? So look, that's like the arm wrestling and they do this, you know, practicing the top roll, right? Notice how far this is up. So for example, if I want to do the same top roll with the bison, like so, you just go up like this. You know, the twist knob is much easier on this. Like there's like a grease. It's really, you could do a lot of twists, right? So if I keep going up like so, put resistance up, up, up. See, look at that resistance and keep going. Top roll, right? And I think I can actually go even further up. Right, so top roll, 
See like that? Very high resistance when you get to this level. And since the, the threads are easier in terms of they don't like, because the threads, you, you can't really get much of the Gripzilla. Sometimes the threads are off or I don't feel you're getting the full, when you try to twist, it's a pain sort of deal. The one thing about the, the bison that does kind of shine about it is that you could definitely keep going up. Like, like see, I could still turn it. And look, you know, like you could, yeah, you can get a lot more resistance from that sort of, um, from that movement. Okay, much better. Um, I'm trying to think what other basic exercises you can do. Um, as I said, with the with the bison, you can kind of just go all around. You could do something like this. You could twist your arm around. It's just like all over, free float. It's like a worm, you know? You could do this. That's a big one, right? You know, look at the range of motion movement you get with this. And I would advise if you're using this type of machine, wear some gloves, or if you want like really a really grip challenge, you can use these bare. There's a really big grip challenge with this. They haven't broken yet. I'm, I'm expecting them to break, but they haven't. Um, but yeah, you get a bigger grip challenge because when you're doing something like this and holding it on, the machine, like the, the grips are very hard on this on this kind of device. Like you can't really grab all the time. So it will like really explode your grip. But if you feel like it's a problem, if it's hurting your grip too much, I advise using some sort of gloves. With the Gripzilla, you don't really need that too much, right? Because you have a you have a gripper here. I do like the handles on the Tornado, to be honest with you. Um, another one, of course, I know I'm all over the place, but like this one here, a lot of people do this, right? They do this, this kind of movement. You see that, like just doing that kind of movement. Same thing with the bison. You know, you can also kind of adjust these pieces, do this. You know, it's it's a lot more like variety into the movement. You could change it out. So I'm really just liking this variety. It, it's really a, it could definitely help the shoulders too, because like with the variety, I can work shoulders more. You know, when you're doing this, you know, behind the back, you know, see like I can do this, and, you know, like this, this behind the back demos versus the Gribzilla behind the back demos like this, you know, you do it on the back, you know, whatever. Up over your head the same way, you know, it's the same movement. It's just a greater range of motion. So, I mean, this is what I, hopefully this video kind of helps you with this, um, with this kind of these little demos. Hopefully it can make, help you make a decision. I'll probably end up making another one if you guys want it. If you didn't like the video, hopefully you guys like it. It's like really my first video I've ever just demoed sort of a product. I know it's not perfect, but I hope it'll get better at it. And hopefully that when you, if you look at this video, it can help you make a decision. You want to choose this or this, right? So hopefully this helps at least get this product out there so you can make a decision. You know, there's not many, as it any, really any videos on this whatsoever. So it's just good to get kind of a demo and, you know, see here, you could do this. Same thing, um, this part here turns, see how it's like loose. So you're basically, you can go all over the place. You can, you know, of course do this. So it's a unique product. I haven't, you know, it's it hasn't been online and I'm just trying to bring it out there. And hopefully, you know, you guys can make a decision if you wanna buy something like this or the Gripzilla Tornado. So anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching the video. I know it's not perfect. I just hope it helps people out there and uh, I'll try to do more of these videos. Maybe I'll get a little better at it. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching my content and hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.